Are you looking at new build home options under 400,000 in the Tucson area? Well, in today's video, we're gonna show you a builder that has homes in a beautiful area under 400,000 that might just suit your needs. Let's get to it. If you're new to this channel and want to learn everything from A to Z, then click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, I'm Dustin Smith. My wife, Jennifer, and I have helped hundreds of people just like you move to and from Tucson, Arizona. So whether you're moving in 12 days, 12 weeks, or 12 months, we'd love to hear from you. Give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, and we'll help you make that smooth move to Tucson, Arizona. So today we're talking about Wildflower Reserve in Catalina. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar, Catalina uh, is basically bordered up against Oro Valley. And it's really before you start uh, getting into like the Saddlebrook area. So this is an all ages community. You don't need to be, you know, 55 and over right here. But if you have that friend or family member over in Saddlebrook, you can be nice and close to them. Or in Oro Valley, um, you're not quite in Oro Valley, so you don't necessarily have the premium that you do on the homes over there. Uh, but you have a lot of the beauty. Now, one of the the major benefits of being over in this type of community right here or in the Catalina area in general is those beautiful mountain views. So we have mountain views that pretty much wrap around uh, to the east and even the north right here. That's how far north Catalina is relative to like Oro Valley and the rest of Tucson. So absolutely just, you know, a gorgeous area. And we know we normally tell people that Oro Valley is about 25 minutes away from downtown Tucson. So you can add about 15 minutes into that drive from here to give you a general idea. So if you're going to like downtown U of A or you expect like 35 to 40 minutes on your drive, you know, assuming there's no major delays on the 77 up here. So yeah, uh, major crossroads here, Highway 77 um, and Golder Ranch Road. So, you know, pretty, pretty far north up here. It has its own set of benefits. You're a little bit outside of the city. So definitely a gorgeous area. Now, one of the major reasons we wanted to showcase this neighborhood today, uh, because you have new construction under 400,000 and the location. So we're not too far away from Oro Valley. And I know a lot of people love uh, the Oro Valley area and looking into Oro Valley. So this kind of gets you uh, near there. You get all the beautiful mountain views, all the access to the shopping and restaurants that Oro Valley has to offer, uh, but at a lower price point too. So KB is uh, starting to sell homes in this neighborhood at 344,000. Now, with that, you do have lot premiums in the neighborhood, and they're going to vary. They're going to start off at about uh, $10,000, and sometimes they have promotions. Like right now, one of the promotions is on one of the uh, inner lots right here. Uh, they're going to do a free lot promo on there, so that's you know pretty nice. And these lots right here are the ones that have the best mountain views. So you can see lot premiums on this side uh, going right around $30,000. So definitely, you know, going to vary, you know, quite a bit depending on the lot that you want to go right here. But in general, you've got gorgeous mountain views all through this area. I mean, we even got some views of the Orleans off to the, the west, that direction as well. So um in the community they do have 91 home sites available they're all roughly the same size 120 feet deep and uh, 0.11 acres um so depending on the size home you get in the neighborhood it's going to actually determine what size like your your backyard is going to be uh the homes themselves have well-designed floor plans and in my understanding talking with a rep right now this is the first uh, KB development in the Tucson area where they're actually doing the spray foam insulation up against the ceiling. Now, um, have a friend that has a, a home with the spray foam against the ceiling that they did with another builder and that makes a huge difference on the heating and cooling of the home. So KB is trying that out up here. And, you know, we'll actually go in the model and they have that opened up so you can kind of check that out as well. Now, because of the community's location up against Catalina Mountains, there's a lot of recreation options for the area. Uh, so if you like, you know, hiking, cycling, you've got plenty of options for that nearby. You've got Catalina State Park right around the corner. 
Um, you, if you like four by flooring, you got Charlotte's Gap down the road too for some very challenging uh, four by four trails. Uh, or if you like rock climbing, there's some great rock climbing up in the Catalina Mountains as well. Now the first line of homes ready to close is supposed to be slated for this November. So those uh, four homes behind me that already have the stucco on them uh, are gonna be the first ones to close. And those are ones they have promos ongoing right now. So complete lot fees, all the upgrades picked out by the builder, uh, starting at about 370,000. All right, so now that you know a little bit about the area and a little bit about the community, uh, it's time to go check out some models. So the two behind me are what uh, KB is showcasing in the neighborhood. So KB makes it really easy. They actually name their models uh, based on the square footage of the home. So we have the 1465, and the 1745 and let's go check them out all right so let's start off with the 1465 uh, i'll turn the camera right now and kind of walk you through everything all right so what you'll notice right when we walk in is that we do have the tile plank floor now this is one of the upgrades that they offer uh, normally all your like living areas are going to be carpet you will have a hard surface um, entryway and then you'll walk onto carpet but in here they have did all the main living areas as um, as hardwood floor and then we have carpet in the bedrooms as well so let's go check out the primary bedroom first now this is one of those uh, east facing backyards here too so really showcasing those gorgeous mountain views if you end up with one of these lots but even if you don't have one of these lots i mean you'll enjoy this area in general all right beautiful walk-in closet and of course the restroom right here and uh, the shower itself is also an upgrade so typically they're going to put in uh, like a tub shower there now even though this home is only 1,465 square foot, the layout in here definitely makes it feel like it's a bit larger. So a split floor plan, we go over to the other side. We have our guest bathroom and we have a bedroom on either side of the hall. Uh, first bedroom right here has a reach-in closet, but then our last bedroom has a full walk-in closet. Definitely a, a very functional layout in here. Beautiful home, beautiful views at the back. But we got uh, we got one more model we can check out. So let's go check out another model. All right, next model we're checking out is the 1745. Let's go take a look. All right, so nice entryway in here. They've opted to do like a floating floor. I believe it's just like a wood plank vinyl. And this hallway to the left is going to lead us to our two bedrooms and the garage. So, guest bathroom. And our first bedroom. You know, good size. It looks like they got a full size bed in here. Reach in closet. All right. Second bedroom, same size. Also, a reach in closet. And we'll go back down that hallway and work our way out to the living room area. So again, we just have this very functional um, layout. You might have seen the lights flicker right there. This neighborhood is so new uh, that they don't even have power runs all the houses yet. So they're actually running generators uh, to, to power up the models right now. Also, that is a gas stove. All the homes in the neighborhood uh, by default come with electric, but gas being one of the upgrade options. So laundry room right off the kitchen and our primary bedroom. Yeah, I mentioned some of those older homes that are out to the back of the community and that's kind of what we're looking at right here. Still gorgeous mountain views if that doesn't bother you. And then of course we have the primary bathroom again with another shower beautiful walk-in closet oh yeah and while we're talking about like the uh the back side of the home right here this being a little bit larger than the other home and all the lots being the same size we have a little bit more narrow of a backyard oh they've showcased that with some cornhole boards right there and some pavers 
We hope you liked today's video. If you did like it, make sure to hit that like button, click subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Tucson, Arizona. And if you have any questions or some comments, we'd love to hear from you in the comments section or you can reach out to us directly. Our uh, contact information is in the description. And if you or someone you know is thinking about moving to or from Tucson, Arizona, we'd love to be the ones to help you make that smooth move out here. So give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, whatever works for you. And of course, thank you for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.